you might want to look away with your left eye. Yes. Speaking of Vegas, Vegas commits SNS is coming up tonight. Uh, no, it's, nope, it's all New York. There is all no SNS. There is no SNS tonight? Nope. Okay, so it's all us all the time. <laughs> Miley Cyrus taking a few casualties there with the Wrecking Ball or the Pinball of Doom. Yes. This is going to be Encore 4. That is going to be what could be. That's going to be Bebron in the lead. Bebron taking the whole shot, but it's Nation that's going to come up and pass Bebron right now. Darkie is in fifth. Bebron Miley takes Cyrus. the lead again. Yeah, so really interesting. You know, I, I played with Bebron oh. in a tournament. Unfortunately, uh, for Aiden Nation there, wow, narrowly avoiding the pinball. It's going to be trailing Bebron. Yeah, and as we complete the lap one, it's these two pulling away. But the spine shell is on field as they go through the through the polo once again onto turn one. And wow, great awareness oh. there by Bebron. He is going to allow for Nation to take the blue shell. Big after you oh. attempt. Oh, but he got hit by the pinball. Oh, but he got hit by second. Miley Cyrus, so Darkie's going to inherit the lead. And here comes Uncle One, having two. Pete, and that's that's going to be a combination of Sin and Steez, the power couple there. Darkly checking out right now. Nation just fell behind as he enters the last two turns, heading into the pinball bumper section. Darkly Darkie needs defense, but he gets hit. He's itemless too, so this may open the doors for Nation to take over. Oh, he hit the pin though. Is this going to be enough? Oh, oh no, but Nation gets hit. Darky gets hit by some stray fire, and this could allow potentially for Steez to take the win. Steez yes. takes it. Darky second. It's going to be Sins and then uh, Nation right now. Yes, and Darky all the way down fourth, and he is away from his pack as we see everything cycle out. Foul is second back. Everyone else it seems to be pulling. Well, falling back still, especially Lele Sus, who's who made it to the finals about three times last appearance. The blue shells on the field, and oh, just before the ramp. Oh, and Steez and Sins both go down together. That's that's so poetic. Here's the thing though, they were at the ramp. They almost fell off. If that fell, if they fell into the gap, they have been way by the gap. Oh, the Nation bit. takes the trail there. I think that was on Sins. Steez is behind. Darkly's catching out to four, trying to get the fist podium. Get the oh, but Aiden gets hit! And now it looks like it's Steez back in the lead. Steez back in the lead. D Nation second. Darkly taking the alternative round, going to third. Everyone else seems pretty, pretty Gotta good. watch this back. If you're Nation, oh, and good avoidance there. Look. It's gonna hang on over Darkie. Second, third, and for our Sins is gonna get Sins gonna get fourth or fifth. Mm -hmm. Man, that was an incredible first race. Incredible in this, as we see all, all the standings is Sneeze first, directly second, Nation's third. Top five, I believe, move on to the next round. The rest will go into the 200cc redemption bracket. That's exciting. I mean, the racing in that first race was intense. so yeah. good. You had you had at least five or six players battling for the lead, and you love you love to see it. Yeah, usually with these type of tournaments, you have the big disparity of players. You have clan, winner, clan members, the competitive side. Title side. But no, it's been all close for our DLC tracks. This is all new tracks. It's a basically even playing field. Now though, we can select any track, so we may see a big diff big difference in talent skill right now. Yeah, half the group is going new DLC, and actually no, it's 60-40 no. against the DLC. We're gonna be going to Dolphin Shoals. And yeah, that like you said, Kilia, I mean, that was the great equalizer, I thought. Yep. But Dolphin Shoals been out since the Wii U era. Water physics also is going to be a big, big thing, especially in that pipe section. Who's going to take that risk round in the middle or play it safe? Find out right now. Countdown starting. Lights out. There you go for race number two. Sneeze takes the lead, heading the first iron box. Yeah. Uh, Douglas looks like. Is he laid back or just trying to stand back? Who knows? I think he's trying to back this as both players, a stream players, up to go back. But Douglas already up to fourth. Nation all down to nine. Ever since the start of the race, and to the second one, and look, seems to be. I think oh. he's trying to play the field. I see Sin in third. I'm only mentioning her a lot because she's so close to us. It looks like Bebron is back in the first and second. Puka yeah. is in the lead there in the uh, the Bowser uh, Bowser inward, I believe combo. Yep. Yeah, with the uh, Yoshi Station bike. Four. One, two, right now. As Nation splits the two, taking up the second. Now chasing down Bebron. Is that the Bavon? No, that's Puka. Puka, Puka, gets Puka hit. just got hit out. Um, so now this is going to change things 
it looks like there's a big battle for the lead. Steez, I see Sin there. Yep. I see Babron uh, in there in yep. second. And look at this. The, look at this knight. Dudley yep. stand bagging again. He's going to try to bag this on lap two. Oh, he's he pulled, got the bill, and he's going to go for the extension. Nation takes the lead away from Babron, and that's going to be Puka in third. Sin is in uh, is in the mix. Steez is in fourth. I, there's no spinal shells on the field right now. No one has a spinal shell on the field. So Nation going to try to extend this gap, try to build a gap, maybe get some security if a shock or a blue shell comes out. Dudley finishing mid-pack. He has, he has a spinal shell, and Nation knows that. He's going to try to get as oh. far as possible, and here it comes. Darky, Darky was forced into that boo because of the star and the pressure behind him. Puka getting hit out. The blue shell is not going to connect on Nation. Nation's going to keep going. Meanwhile, Steez is ahead of Darky. Darky getting hit there from the player in fourth. That's going to be Puka. Yeah, that's Puka, followed by one of the, one of the boys, followed by Revan. And then we have Layla Suss. He's finishing up mid-pack, passing his wall back now. Ooh, I think she just got hit and didn't fall. And I uh, just want to say, having like a, a 9 to 10 player lobby is making this so entertaining. Oh, yeah. Not, to, not to throw shade at a... Uh, I, you know, yes. smaller tournaments. Huge target oh. shock on Darky. Nation's going to coast to the line. He and that's going to be uh, Steez getting second. Sin is going to be getting third. fourth. Third is going to go Puka. to uh, probably Puka. Yeah, and okay. Babron getting fifth, I think. That's a top five for now. And looking at the points, that's going to be close. I thought it was going to be a bit further than I thought. A yeah, bit closer than I thought. Nation and uh, Darky are deadlocked right now. So huge, huge battle between them as we have four more races to go. Yeah. Not only that, points battle between the cutoff lines separated by three points. With three races left, you got you got to really make it happen right now with four races. You really do. And uh, I'm just curious. And I, and I was in a fraternity back when I was in college. What are your thoughts on the uh, the drip there from, from Stack, the, the frap row look? Eh, I'm not big on fashion. <laughs> My, hey, you know what? I'm he like, likes to, he likes to make his yeah. statement, but he's backing it up with his driving. So, yeah. you he's know, driving it like he stole it. That's how. Yeah, and it. and he was Boston yesterday. Going to be going to Vegas, and also his friend who's sitting beside him is going to be going to Vegas as well. Uh, going to be really interesting seeing them play in all three tournaments in a matter of a three week span. That's but a, Bowser's Castle, this is going to be good for Puka. The Panorangers Rangers plan plays this religiously. It's going to be an inward favored track. And obviously, you know, practicing with uh, Pano, YFM, Waldo, Gats, that's really going to be a huge asset for her. That's it. She, she's coming back now. She's taking a leap, but Doug, he is not far behind. About, about two, three per lengths behind. Nations are in fifth. And I do believe that's what? Who is understood? Oh, that uh, that is going to be Sin. Sin backing up his shells as he gets ready for the double iron box, hanging through the glider section. And unlike the vast last phases, top five is starting to pull away from the loop behind. So we may see some calm before the storm here as he completes lap one, directly starting lap two. With very protection, plant plan with coins, but has some chance to keep the lead. Yeah, it's gonna be really interesting, especially with that boo and that metal Mario player in the back. We do have Darky up here in first. That's going to be Babron getting hit out of second there. The blue shell coming into play. Nation now moves into second. And it is going to be Babron in third playing really well here with yep. this tight group. They've seen that. Oh, oh, but the bomb actually backfires on Nation. Wow, what a move by Darky. He had that block already. And also noticed before he got before that action started, Darkly stopped and trying to get, get that boost off that blue shell. Nation caught up, but Darkly retains the lead and started to pull away once again. But that me has. LeBron's out for blood. Steez and Puka actually go up ahead, but Puka gets hit. Wow. I think that's Mera with the me with the boomerang causing chaos. Nation trying to stand back once again. Not to stand back in that far. Wait, waiting, waiting, waiting. But these guys are so far back. However, first place in away. And of course, unlike previous Mario Kart games, distance matters this, first. This pack is playing, playing so aggressive right now. LeBron, Puka, Steez, Sin. And they're all just playing out of their minds. Nations paid the price for it, but can anybody catch Darky? It's going to be Babron right now and Puka that have the best chance of doing so. Nation falls off. If I'm on, if I'm the best of the pack, I know I have to beat Darkly. Try to get some points here. We're all got to focus on Darkly, but he's pulling away. Puka fell. I think Puka fell. No, she's yep. still here, P but Puka dropped. lost the spot, like but she's doing okay. Oh man, Sin getting back by the fire by Puka. Puka's going to take fourth over Aiden. 
And Darkey right. taking the win right. there. It is going to be... Oh, uh, Babron gets second. Babron, I do believe, won the Royce, followed by Pukka, and then Nations to finish out to top so five. So Babron's the me, and Steez was the other Royce. Steez got third. Yep. Wow, what what a crazy... And that's actually going to be Steez in the lead right now yep. over Nation and Darkey. Three po three races to go. Po points to Chain and Cut. Flying is eight points. It's going to take a bigger effort to get those points. Get back into the mix here for uh, fifth and sixth players. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I mean, you know, 22 player tournament, that's really exciting to see. And just the, the, the level of racing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, maybe I'm just so excited because I have I have some connection to literally everybody in this tournament yeah. by some weird chance. But like, do you see how like tight that pack was? It was really, really tight. We thought it was going to be a bit further, but there's some basic strategy, interesting strategy too, especially on lap two. I haven't seen anyone sandbag starting lap two, maybe lap three, maybe lap one maybe, but that was a big risk by uh, Nations who sandbagged about halfway through the race. Didn't pay out for him, but he's still in the mix to make it to the, yeah, to the finals. He did get hit out pretty hard, and you really, I mean, you got to like look at how physical that pack was. You either are running or you got to have some shrooms and kind of be in that like earlier upper upper running area like third or fourth to really capitalize there but we're going to be going to twisted mansion here should be a, a good track a little bit of running a little bit of bagging glider sections shortcuts yeah. so especially that big shortcut on the last hand if you have like shrooms and studs you, you know don't cut that last yeah. corner don't worry segar i got you uh Kyoya and i will be on the track uh the next round we're yep. gonna next round we're gonna have luckio we're gonna have save uh, formerly from Solar, I, I honestly don't know what French team he's on right now, or if Ooh. he's still on a team. One of the one of the guys got hit. I don't know who it is, but is it, there's some commotion yeah. going on. A lot. The pack's still incredibly close. Puka yeah. out here in the lead, but Braun having an incredible run up here Nation at the front. just took the lead as he goes for that next item box. Darkly out on a fifth. Darkly just starting just a little. Try to get a better item. Wow, what a trail there by Puka onto oh. Nation. And Nation loses his banana there to Steez, who dies to Babron. And he'll, he'll take over second. Puka just started to check out. That's about, I'm going to say, a second league. Nation accidentally hit a wall, but I think he's trying to sandbag again. I'm going to try that again directly up to second with the Super Horn. So he's just got to wait. Oh, actually, he might has take the 10 coins. Now. He is going to spare Puka temporarily and keep that horn for something important should a blue shell come. Bomb and play, but. Nation and Steez go wide for it. Do I have seen lately? A shock. These guys are so close together. I don't think anyone's pulling shocks yet. I think a shock could be in play uh, in the next set or two if it isn't already. I don't see anything here. Uh, just taking a quick look back, but I wouldn't be surprised if there is one coming up late. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, but these guys are running close so far. Oh, man. Wait, did Puka get hit by that? Oh, no, she didn't. No, she got back. No, she blocked it. It just hit so right. Oh, but she did get bomb. by the bomb right there. Nations take in, take out. Jerkly still checking out. Make that three, four second gap as he started to run away. The pa There's two packs right now. Jerkly and everyone Everybody else. else. Well, everybody's hitting second. And so Sin just moved into second. Steez uh, moving in behind her. And that's always a weird dynamic because, you know, they're sitting beside each other, boyfriend, girlfriend. You got to wonder if they take each other, uh, you know, harder or easier than normal. I think there's no team orders with those. Huge two bill. Right now. Huge bill by, by Aiden here. This might bring him up to second. He just it is. whips oh, the run. And he dodges shot. the shock. He dodges the shock. That's it. Wow. Wow. And, and, that's and that is killing. That is killing Steez. Steez gets seven. Sin gets fifth. Uh, we see a newer player here getting third. Don't know their name. Uh, it's the whole group. Yeah, like one of the, the, the whole group. So we got like Zanzan and yeah. a few of the others all moving up together. That's that was I haven't crazy. Caught the points, but the points are going to change dramatically because Puka, I do believe, was outside the top five, ending that race. That was wild. Last, I think this is the last race. This I love fourth? Twisted Mansion. It's one yeah. of my favorite tracks in the game I because think this is the last race for uh, this group. Either the second or last or last. I think it might be the second or last. Mm -hmm. Now this situation with the point situation, you're outside the you're outside the cutoff line by five points. And what it is the top do? five moving on? I do believe it's top five because we need room to for two to move on from two hundred CC. Oh true, so that would make it a twelve player final. Exactly. Oh that's so exciting. Let's go. Yeah. Set up four, it's pretty interesting with their point situation. They're going for a back and track with Cheese Land. I mean some players did get great pretty hard in that yeah. lot. So you can kinda tell, like uh and I think like you jointly pick the tracks together, right? You do. Uh, 
Uh, I think either go back and forth, or you guys agree on one. Yeah, that's that's the that's, uh, right that's just kind of the way the the lay of the land, I guess. It's an unintended. It's an unintended rule, but we all follow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just kind of have to yeah. figure it out. Oh, speaking of cheese man, land, called it. This is race number five. Five of six, two to go. Who is going to stand back? Who is going to front run? Going to find out right now. The key two with the countdown. Once again, lights out. Where we go? Is I'm going to break or? Yep, nation's going uh, to stand back. Just uh, yes, professor. This is in person. This is an in-person land here in New yep. York. At right. Encore Esports in New Rochelle, so yep. check oh. them out. Open to the public every month here, and Dougley and Nation's going to sandbag. And it looks like Drebin's going to be out in front for the meanwhile, followed by Polka, that and the Black Yoshi. Yeah, honestly, this is just like a fun time to kind of chill, sit back, relax. This first lap is not going to mean much. No. You're going to see a lot of crazy things, like you're seeing ghosts. Yeah. Um, but we really do got to be careful now, as it is time for the shock to come into play. Now, the real question is, is what's going to happen in the next minute or so that's going to scrunch this pack up? Is it going to be a shock? Is it going to be a blue? Yeah. Is it going to be a build train? Yeah, if I'm in front max, I'm going to try to get a big gap as possible. That's how I pl usually play this track at a lower level. But the blue shell is coming out, and that's going to slow everything down, the front, that first place down. Darkie's taking the extension there. And it's up to second, but there's no shock yet. This is pretty dangerous. The, we saw the blue shell come out, so he thinks he's probably safe. But we've seen two blue shells come out in the last second. Yeah, it looks like Sin also in a bill of her own. And this is one of the things is, do you wonder, have you made your move too soon? Now Nation forced into that star by the red pressure from behind. Now all of these players that bagged are now up in the front, and all the players that were up in the front are now in the back. So th this is that game of chess that you got to constantly be thinking about. With one lap to go here on Cheeseland. Yep, and directly is almost to us, to our first ramp section. Everyone else just starting the final laps. It's Nation still battling for fourth with one of the wall Luigi's. Ooh, got hit by the banana. This could be good for Nation if something crazy happens, but no, gets screened out there by Babron. Babron in the plant. Nation gets around him safely. Puka up ahead there with triple mushrooms. Darky all alone in first, but can he hold on? Yeah, I think it's going to hold down right now. He has protection. I don't see a Puka going for out. the hard right. It's Puka going to take the one. She has a star Shit. behind her shrooms. Photo finish. It's going to go to no, Darkly. Darkly. That's oh, first and second was going back in. Yeah. Place. I think that was like, what, half a curl leg? That was insane. Photo finish uh, does go to Darky over Puka, and we'll see what happens after. Remember, I don't think Puka sandbag either. She, she was kind of in the middle, I think, most of yeah, the entire time. Kind of she tried to run. There, but. That'll be Steez. Steez having a great run uh, there. Yep. And so a tie right now between Babron and Sin for that fifth spot we going into to go. the final race. This is going to be huge. And man, I don't know who to give it to. I mean, um, you know, Sin is an, an incredible racer who's, I think she's relatively new to the scene, you know, getting trained by, by Steez, obviously. And she's been playing very well on the Buzz Clan. That's a clan that um, Princess Bratz in yeah. by Yoshi Sky Blue. And then Babron, I've seen a little bit, not. One of the more competitively known players of the group, but I've I've I know of Babron. I've you know chatted with him, and he's come out aggressive, and he was leading most of these races. So I'm really impressed yeah. with how Babron's playing. He's specializing too on the CC. That is right, right, right there. So he somehow goes into redemption back by God, by God knows how. We're going to see some great stuff from that guy. Yeah, this is this is going to be wild. Not that you want to obviously bank on that. You no. would. Much rather be directly in the finals, but I, it reminds me of me a little bit. Yeah. And and Baby Park in Vegas, <laughs> and, and Shine Thief just taking, yeah. just knowing that if I got it, I had a, like a ninety percent win rate. Yep. We're New City, the final one. This will be interesting. Yep. Question is, you know that final cut, a shoeless cut, you may take. How many people gonna risk it without the shoe? Yep. You, may, you gotta go for the NISC, in my opinion. Um, I think some players here will will know how to do it. I would say about. Well, no Four out of the ten? No one's five thing. out of the ten. Execution's another thing. It's a very small window, you know that. But you also have items if you miss. You also want to miss items if you take that shortcut too. That's so true. if you're behind, maybe you want to take a long about, maybe bank on items. Who knows? It's a good point. It really depends on what you have. And it's so situational. Darky here in first. Nation going to be in fifth. Yeah. And it looks like we're, we got. Sin and Steve's there in like third, fourth or so. Nation barely get hit. Puka also Braun get hit. Braun and Puka, yeah. Hit. Having a pretty good run yep, right now. There's Dugley taking that shortcut we talked about and executed perfectly. No. Nothing less from a world record holder. He is a world record holder, right? He had, well, at least at one of the top TTs. 
Yeah, anyway, we'll see. Our stream is our first and second right now, and pulling away, it's Dougley Nations and Brabon going finish out the top three. Poker just falling right behind, and these two street on stream checking out right now. Everyone else is still just straggling, but I'm nervous about that Luigi way behind. Is he far enough to pull a shot to affect these two out in front? Could I be, uh, or it could be too far back. It's going to be a coin flip, I think, where where they're based off. And then obviously if they're getting power oh. items like they are now. Dougley just got he hit when he took the shortcut. He yeah. did not miss it. He got hit. There's the shock. And I think it was because that player in last had the star. All those players in the back had the power items, so they were moving into the distance, even though I believe at the time they were slightly farther back. Yeah. So it's kind of a way you can kind of cheese getting a shock by just getting good items and getting into the distance, even if you don't know where it is. Exactly. But this causes, I think, Brebin to get into the mix for the top three. That shot just really messed it up. Fall about that, Roy. Oh, I think Revan did he DC or did he fall off? Okay. Oh, okay. nobody there. Everyone's still going. I was Nation here has the lead, but look at what Darky has in his pocket. Oh, but huge, huge pull here by yeah, Nation. He's, he's gonna have to go for the NIST, the no item shortcut. No, he oh, opts not to. Uh, oh, but he cut, Darkly. oh, but he blocked no. it with the banana. Oh, that was so close. Oh, Darky's gonna do him so it's dirty gonna here. Close. It's oh, gonna be Darkie's close. Gonna, oh, we knew it was coming. Darkly, Nations. Yeah, Nation will take oh. second place and fall by that Roy. That will be the top three. We still finish up. We knew it was coming. Oh, man, huge Yonkers. run. Um, I think Steve's got third. Singh gets fourth. And Matt, I don't know where Matt finished, but Puka got fifth. Oh, Matt got a lower spot. So that's yep. going to mean Sins oh. takes that final spot by four Wait points. Wait a minute. Did, did Brevin get at? Did Brevin get knocked out? Bebron got knocked out by Sin. Sin, uh, you can see there with five. Uh, has 39 points for Bron. points. Yep, for Bron with 35. Points. Wow, what a battle. That was the closest race we have, I've ever seen. A great job by Sin, too. Just for, I mean, that battle with LeBron was just as hype as the battle at the front. So yep. you got to keep in mind, like, how crazy that, that was. So we talked about Sneeze coming in to the finals already. We also have directly in Nations. Mm -hmm. but I think Puck, I forgot the last two. I think Puka, Puka moved on, Puka I believe. Yeah, on. she so played incredibly all, well. So that's it. first five moving on. We have one more group to go, though. And that's do. We're in it. And Nine others. Yeah, See I'm excited. On. We'll be back after this. We will be back. See you on the track.
What's your name? What's, what's your name? Skis? Alright. Are we through? We're oh, through. yep, we're through. Alright. Alright, welcome, Steez. Welcome, man. Let's go. Race All right. 1. We got the, the new Mario, Mario Circuit track. Let's yeah, go. this is the new DLC tracks that are added. Oh, man. Bunch of old ones that came back. And ow, yeah. not yikes. Night with Night the burnout in first. Yeah. And <laughs> Luckyo is just kind of waiting. Luckyo's going to back. Doing? We already know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so this is, yeah, this is the uh, new DLC tracks that were um, just had. A couple of retro ones that just came back. Yeah, man. So How are you liking these so far? Oh, this is great. I mean, yeah. this is my um, second time participating in the tournament. Um, like we just got finished up with the... Um, the first bracket, yeah. as probably a lot of people saw. It was on actually pretty fun. Not it was pretty it was fun. Cool. It was stressful. I mean, yeah, like right? super, super stressful. <laughs> right? But <laughs> hey, it ended up being super fun anyway. Yeah, um, we got Knight in third, Luckyo in eighth. Which is not something you see from Luckyo that much. Nah, it's, it's a lot it's of people right. who are familiar it's a bagger, with. Though. Yeah, if anybody that's familiar with how we this have goes. Save in first, Solar save in first. By the way. Oh crap! Night in second. That's part of the thing. Sometimes you can't tell because sometimes you're like, encore three, encore yeah, two. Yeah, I just sometimes. know everybody's combos by by now, right? Well, then you should probably take the lead on this one because <laughs> yeah, I'm just sticking with the names on the screen. Night. No, nah, man, you're better than me at this. <laughs> <laughs> play by play, probably, right? but you know, <laughs> ah, voice crack. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, got night with the triple shroom. I see. Here, the here's the lucky o that people are starting to know. Just cut through mm -hmm. everything with every single tactic. He's gonna hold that star all the way till third. Oh yeah. Every kind of tactic that he knows is being put in play right here. Definitely. Knight's yeah. trying to catch up. He was actually near the front in the beginning, but oh, yep, here he goes. Knight's gonna take here the he goes. Star. Lucky o's just trying to 
hold his spot and maybe even take take over a little bit. Oh, Knight with the triple reds in fourth. That's gonna be crazy. He's saving it. You see how lucky he was just. The green, though. You see how he's able to just cut that corner. It's amazing. Ooh, lucky got hit by the blue. That's not good. That's not good. He's in a rough spot here. Mm. Lucky is having a run for his money, but Knight. Knight is kind of just trying to make a run for it. Knight should hold that for defense, maybe. Oh, it was maybe, last but never mind, never mind. no, that's gonna be that's gonna be it. Right. Wow. Knight with the fifth, lucky with the seventh. Both the two people that you save with the first. Yeah. Save with the first. Nice. Both people you see on screen, you would expect them to be perhaps a little bit higher, but they kind of got off to a um a rough end. A little, a little rough end. A, but a, hey, a little man. bit of the rough end. They caught they caught a little bit of the. Uh, Short end of the stick, if you yeah, know what I mean. We call those end. baggers, by the way. So it's like baggers. you just basically sit back, grab an item, star, triple shrooms, things right, like that. Right, and just save it. And just save it. Hold it till third lap and Makes boom. Makes sense. Makes sense. Do work. I'm happy you're here because you are got a little more of the terminology yeah, on your, you your know, belt than I do. Yeah, you know, pro and casual, pro and casual. So this is why we have Steez here. We could do this, man. We could really do this. I know. <laughs> All right, so. It's going to be so, a successful night. <laughs> yep. We're going to go into the second selection of tracks. Got a lot of the uh, older ones. I think I only see one of the new ones. And great, we're gonna go to this one. I remember this one very well. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember the name of it. It's probably gonna pop up just a second. Ribbon, Ribbon Road, Road yeah. Ribbon Road. I remember this one a lot. I actually used to practice on this one because when this had first released back when I first started playing mm -hmm. eight, I thought this is one of the toughest tracks. Period. Yeah. Just flat out, I thought it was one of the toughest Honestly, ones. Honestly, when I first started playing, I hated this track. Yeah. But then you know, keep time trial and keep practicing. And exactly. Yikes! Good. A lot of guys got off to a rough Looking start right there. Out. Only about three leaders. Knight, Knight was actually, yeah, he was one of the ones that was starting, and he's just Knight, backing up. Knight's he's actually trolling. doing the unusual right he's now. He's not supposed to do this, by the way. Just no, he's you know. not. No. But hey, Knight, Knight knows what he's doing. He'll he does. Right. It's he'll unethical, right. and he's probably trolling, but you know what? It's, it's, like, it's really good fun. <laughs> he's having tonight, a good time. Right? Leave, Leave him alone. Leave to do that. Alokio isn't playing around immediately in first race from the get-go, taking every single shortcut that he can. Yeah, man. Trying to be conservative about his items. Yeah, look at him. Now, now he's, he's not Luckio's playing around. Gone. I don't think Luckio's going to get out of first unless he gets blued. We, we got save in second, most likely. Or unless he either really gets piled up on, because right now he's holding that. Yeah, Bro. you could tell. Lucky wasn't focused. He's though. gone. He's gone. He's gone. We're not, he don't have to worry about anybody, to be honest. He's gone. No. Knight, however, is trying to give himself a challenge, especially with him right. doing a little troll move at the beginning. He's, he's uh, going to do it, though. He's going to do it. He's, he's, I think he's fine. He's definitely putting himself in a rough spot, that's for sure. Very but, early but shot. As he said, I think he's got it. Mm -hmm. He's fine. Yeah, very early shock, by the way. Mm -hmm. So, Lucky mm. isn't playing around, though. Nah, yeah, you can tell he isn't. Gone. Knight is trying to get it back into this however he can. Yeah, so Bulba come behind him. That's going to push him back to seven. Quite unfortunate. Lucky-O is just, you're right, running away with it. If you look at the gap on the map, he's gone. Yeah. He's this gone. Is, uh, I mean, I would call this a runner. Some people may not. But, I mean, for me, as long as you get in first and you're good, you're gone, bro. There's no way that yeah, you're Yeah, especially get if you know how to play it smart. You're being smooth with your transitions. You're, Lucky you know the, the map well. lines in the world right yep, now. Yep, yep. If you at least, if you know the track well, and you know your moves and you save your items, yeah, you, you're almost a guaranteed 100%. top three, top 100%. two. Yeah, 100%. So yeah, Luckyo's definitely got this one in the bag. Naito is all the way back up in the top three though, after mm -hmm. having a rough start, or rather an unusual start. Yes. Oh, and second. there's oh. the lightning bolt. There goes the shock right there. Now, now Lucky might have something to worry about a little bit. No, he doesn't. Never nah, mind. He's enough. at the finish. He's done. That boy gone. And Lucky is going to do a little bit All of right. patrolling, Knight and he's so, got it. Uh, Knight plans save. Save is the second. Oh, man. Knight plans oh, save again. Uh, but is he going to get it? No. Line. Wow. Oh. He saved himself at least twice there, but he's still able to get a top five spot. Oh, Knight with the toxic plays right there. Oh, man. Toxic, we you know it worked out for him. Hey, Wario top he two. He was in third for a second, but I, I, he was still able to get top five, so it Definitely. still worked out in his favor. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Well, basically, in, in, you know, it's qualifying rounds, you know, so it's basically pros versus the people that just play the game, you know, on, on, on a weekend night or something. Right, so pros so, versus casuals. Yeah, basically. I didn't want to try to say that, but Well, no, not using casuals is an offensive thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> more or less just saying, like, hey, listen, I'm a casual Mario yeah, Kart player. Yeah. Like, I like to be competitive game. I like having a competitive right. attitude towards the game. But am I, like, you know, considered a professional or somebody who knows all the in-depth parts of the track and techniques? Absolutely mm -hmm. not. Yeah, Knight also rocking the BM tag, Black Magic. He's also of the course. leader of that, by the way.
And Lucky was just showing off Discord. Lucky was showing off Discord. <laughs> yeah. All right, where are we going to next? Right, we could go to Twisted oh, okay Mansion. Twisted Mansion again. TM. We played on this one in the uh, the first TM. bracket. This one, a lot of people got messed up on this one. Mm -hmm. A lot of people that were in the front originally fell back in this one. This one's tricky, especially towards the end where you have the uh, knights with the hammers at the very end. Yeah. That can mess up a lot of people, that especially with timing. That very tricky. And yes, plus, it can. you know, a lot of people were in the back before, so that's right. when shock comes. So right. we can look at it again. Let's I'm, see. I'm... I'm calling it right here. I think Shock's coming early second lap. You think Shock's coming early? I think Knight actually may end up getting at least top two here because I don't think he wants to mess around anymore. Not at all. They got shrooms. They're going to take the cut. We have top two. Save in first. Knight in second. Yep. Lucky O in third. Save with no defense, by the way. Oh, he hit, he hit doubles. Never mind. Absolutely zero, but Smart Lucky guy. O, you can see he's holding on to two red shows, so he's got mm -hmm. kind of a defensive right and an offensive. Knight's going to chain. If he's smart, chaining double, boom right there. He's there you go. Save and get double Why wouldn't you go double right there? Oh, and Knight. it doesn't work out in his favor. Knight with the slow reaction, so Yikes. he's still in second, though. Still yeah, in quick enough. See, this part right here, right where Luckyo is, that's good timing right there. 100%. That's Luckyo's good timing. Gone. Luckyo has a shroom in pocket in first with uh, With the boomerang behind him, and he just, a and great just hit by Luckyo. Hey. Just looking behind him and just saying, you're mine, ting. Yeah. Luckyo is definitely playing aggressive with that play. He I is, especially after the rough first race that he got off to. Not what he mm -hmm. expected. I think it was a first round night in seventh, Luckyo yeah. in fifth. I so they're not playing around it, anymore. They're not playing around anymore, especially Knight. Knight is, you can, you can kind of see in the face cam on Knight. You can see the focus in his face. <laughs> He's Luckyo. not messing around. Luckyo going for the wall dodge and missed it. Yeah. Save getting blue shelled. Oh, it's very hectic right now. That's not good. Mm -hmm. But you know what? They're both still in top five, on top five. Knight is trying to get Knight to the front. Knight with a smart play throwing the boomerang at the bomb. These guys are smart. Yep. Right uh, right through the crevice of the hammer in the night. That was actually pretty smart by Lucky Knight. Lucky was looking for a back. He knows it's coming. He knows something's on its way, and he's just like, where are you? Where are you? Yeah, for sure. Oh, man. We got Lucky in fourth with triple shrooms. Knight in second with double defense. Yep. Save taking the cut and then hitting double. Knight's out of here right now. Lucky was trying to get back third. up to the front. Knight's right on his tail. Maybe that's what Lucky was looking behind. Maybe he's looking for Knight just Goodbye on his tail. Goodbye to Knight. Sheesh. Goodbye. Bumped all the way back down to seven. That's going to cost him. Now he's yeah. going to have to try and regain some ground. That was Might want to stay away from the middle because of the bullet bill. He's fine. Mm -hmm. That Lucky was a very o. tough back, by the way. Yeah, Lucky O is trying to, oh, he's trying. Trying for the ricochet and the green shell. Mm. Nothing there. Actually mm. broke his own green shell, but he's Lucky cutting o. through Pulling the grass. The oh, Lucky but the o. lightning screws him over. Uh, it screwed him over. That's a tough break. Third. Nice. It's a tough break from still because he probably could have stolen out of the second or first right there. Mm -hmm. But an absolute tough break just getting yeah. completely, you know, I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't have words for that one. Uh, he had it, but then the lightning bolt just came and uh, I, I messed him up. I believe the term is just carded. You just got Mario carded. You just got Mario carded. Carded with it like apostrophe D. Yeah, Mario carded. carded. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, you can hey, tell this has you, been a... Look uh, at the faces on these guys. They're ready. They're nervous and ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you can tell. Lucky was kind of relaxed, but you can see a little bit of tension in his face. Yeah. Knight, you can tell. Nice he wants this. Nice he wants in. this. Mm -hmm. He wants this. Come on, being a leader of your, of your own clan, you can't really, you know. Oh, is he? Yeah. I actually nice, didn't know nice that. He's the BM leader, but can't take no breaks. He has to win. He has to win. He's trying to Because if he doesn't win, he's going to hear my voice in the BM server, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never let that yeah, go. Yeah, especially as a leader, you know, he's got he's got a big uh, burden to carry. Yeah, He's man. got the leadership on his back, so you mm -hmm. know what? He wants to be... He wants to be a good leader. He wants to be, you know, a face that um, people can look on, especially since, you know, like you said, he, he runs BM. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he wants to make a good impression of himself. But here we go into the uh, go, fourth four race. This Let's track I remember happens. a lot, too. I don't remember if this track was in seven or not, but I remember this track very clearly. And, oh, ouch, Luckio. Rough start for Luckio. I think he might be just, he might be the one getting a little nervous, but you could tell Knight's locked in. You got He's save in first. Save is locked in, too. And oh, yeah, Save is doing a little hip hops around there. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get through. Knight looks like he's trying to play it it's safe. safe. He's staying he's back. back it right here. Oh, look at that. Save backed it. He probably hit somebody. Wow. Yep, he hit somebody up. Luckyo's catching up, though. Knight overtakes him. All right, Knight. Knight overtakes Save. Oh, Save fell off. Oh, did he? Oh. oh he tried to do super bounce and fell off. Yikes. Mm. You, can't, you can't get a little too, uh, got a little too risky with his play there. Mm. Knight got screwed up by the note there. Luckyo taking first, by the way. Yeah, Luckyo's running away with it now. Knight with the Nisk. Nice. He's trying. Mm -hmm. Knight could use the red shell because Luckyo doesn't have anything on him. But it looks like he, no, he could use it, but he's probably trying to save it for a defensive play. Definitely. It, it would be smart to do that. It would, because especially since there's no immediate threat to him. 
Luckyo using the shroom. What a surprise. Off the edge again by Luckyo. You can tell he's playing very aggressive, you know, because he already has his foot in the door. Uh, yeah, I think for him to play aggressive is probably the best bet. You right. Know, he's in a room with, you know. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> the bomb's so strong it messed it up our screen. It cut the feed for a second. Oh, my God. <laughs> That exposure was so strong, our entire feed got lost for a that solid was millisecond. Insane. <laughs> insane to see. Yeah, you could tell Luckyo is trying to focus up. He's trying to, you know, uh, position himself in a way where he can secure him a spot and then not have to worry about maybe the remaining two races. Yeah, Luckyo is definitely locked in right here. He almost backed Knight, by the way. He, he's going almost, for it. Almost, yeah. See? He's going for it, I'm telling you. Luckyo wants that back on stream. He wants, he, yeah, he, not only does he want back on stream, but he also wants to make sure that maybe this, and if he doesn't. If he doesn't do it this time, maybe next race, but definitely right here he wants to secure himself a spot in the finals. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Because he must be like, Blues if I can... Oh, it's going right getting for him. Blued. Knight held... Uh, Knight used okay, but that's not, that's not a terrible spot to he's get... He's going to pull a shroom right here. It's not a terrible spot to get Blue Shell, but he's in second red. now. He makes Nisk. Luckyo with the snipe! Nice! Woo! What a play! Luckyo with the and first. And Luckyo just steals well it. Well deserved. Well deserved indeed. What an absolute brilliant move by Luckyo. That's a high IQ play. Mm, definitely. If there was ever Amen. a Mario Kart compilation for 200 IQ moments, that's going in it. That's absolutely going in it. Oh. Absolutely stole that. You could tell. He wanted his clip. He told me before he wanted his clip. He, he wanted his clip. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> that's amazing. Luckyo with yeah, the you second could overall now. Yeah. You could tell that Knight is a little frustrated. I don't know if he saw it on the cam. He did look a little bit. <laughs> Frustrated. Yeah, he uh, can't yeah, believe look it. At him he can't believe it. Knight wants to go over the TV right now and just strangle Lucky. He was he was pointing at the monitor. He was like, "How is that possible?" Oh, saving first overall, by the way. I'm just saying, Kobe oh, from the grave approves of that banana shot. Oh man, man. sick banana shot, by the way. Sick Absolutely approves look, of that. Look, that was Lucky laughing. Knight talking a little bit of you know jibber jabber right now. They're getting real intense. <laughs> Maybe some trash talk. We can't exactly bit, hear what's going on. Talk. Can't hear we, it from all yeah, over here. Yeah, we can't here, exactly hear what's going on over hey, there. But you know what? They're bickering now. They're bickering. <laughs> oh, Luckyo, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Luckyo, he's chilling, man, honestly. He knows he's got Luckyo, this. Luckyo. He knows he's got this. D3, I think. I forgot what clan he was in. I don't want to say the wrong one on stream, so I'm not going to say it. Yeah, I don't even know um, what clan he's in. But we're going to Shroom Ridge for the fifth race. This mm -hmm. is an old DS track. Yeah. This one, a lot of people. I remember the tournament back that on right in uh, February. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is one of the tracks that a lot of people had picked. And it's because that it's such like a tight turn and drift line. And Luckyo Ooh, again Luckyo with, with the, the burnout. It's a I bagger, like, though. He'll be fine. I feel like he's doing this on purpose now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, basically. But but Shroom Ridge, this one a lot of people try practicing on, especially mm -hmm. when practice is going on back in February, because this one coins. is this one is highly drift reliant. Mm -hmm. If you are not nailing your drifts and are at least at right there, see yep. Luckyo kind of caught a bad break there, yeah. getting hit with the car. Yeah, but this very. Uh, very lucky with your drifts and, and drafts, by the way, because if you can draft somebody and get hit on on a corner or something, it's yeah, very no, bad for you. Very no. bad. This is one of the few Mario Kart tracks where speed isn't your friend. Yeah. It's all about drifting. It's all about getting Items. those right turns. And right here, Luckyo, did he miss it? He did. Mm. He kind of tried to. He'll be fine. Trust. He'll be fine. Trust the process. Trust the process, right? But yeah, that was, that was just rough because it seemed like he wanted to go over, but he kind of lost first his. Again, he's ready for Yikes. it. Yikes! All right, Luckyo's coming. Knight but, with but the Knight is first. trying to pull away with it again, but save. Save with the Shroomin first. If they're both smart, they're gonna hold it all the way to the last cut. Yeah. Knight might use it here though to get rid of the ink. No, probably not. Mm. Small. And he loses it. Knight loses it. He's going for the. And up. he's gonna go back to get it. Okay, mm. smart, smart. Yeah, good yeah, play. Smart. Good play. You can, you, you, can uh, you can cover that ground. You're fine. Mm. Uh, Knight with the, uh, with the wrong drift. Oh, he's got third. it. Luckyo's Luckyo trying to get six. back up there. Luckyo's not going for that shortcut Luckyo again, or is Nero he? In second. No, Luckyo's not going to go for that shortcut again. He knows what happened last time when he mm -hmm. accidentally missed it. But yeah, Looks they're like kind of. Save in first again. Holds yeah. out to his MVP, by the way. Who is Save? Save, actually, uh, he comes from. We, Me and Save go way back. We were uh, oh, teammates in, in X Atlantic. It was a, a clan like about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. Nice, nice. Uh, and then I actually created my own clan, and I told Save to come with me. And Save was one of those that, that stuck with me. So shout out to Save, man. Shout out to Save indeed, because you know what? Save sounds like somebody who's loyal. Oh, but Luckyo, a real brother, definitely. Yeah, Luckyo is trying to get back into a good position. Back. But Knight is not out no, he, here. He's not in a good spot. Luckyo Luckyo getting with, with the bomb, bomb at the end. Save getting hit as well. Back into the bomb from the car. This is going to be Ooh, a rough break for both of them. Very intense last race. This is a Ooh. rough break for both of them. Wow. Last corner. Sorry about that. Mm. No, you're okay. But wow, what a tough break for both of them. Yeah, man. They were both holding strong lines for about maybe the beginning to the mm -hmm. middle of the uh, race. 
for right at the end, things just got a little too wild. And but I told you, man, this is this is a bagger. That's what happens. Yeah, Any, but anything can happen. Last corner, anything can happen. Yeah, but this one is definitely. Um, you could tell that there was like some uh, lack of confidence, maybe mm. in some of the moves, especially in Luckyo mm. trying to go for the shortcut mm. at the last corner definitely. and then missed it completely. Definitely, yeah. That's not something you normally see out of somebody who you know really knows these tracks well. Yeah, that's kind of just like a slip up, which is unfortunate and. More slip-ups like that, especially from night two, led to, mm -hmm. you know, not them getting uh, top spots in this one. Yeah, it I was think definitely a, a rough race. It's a rough one, but you know what? They can bounce back. We're going into 100%. the final one now, and let's see what they're going to go for. I think they're going to – yeah. Mm. One of the new DLC tracks have added, uh, another throwback track. I Desert, if I'm correct. It yes. is. You're right. And this right. is another throwback one to the N64 days. Yes. A little bit of info on this track. Go on. 100% bagger. 100% bagger? 100%. I mean, you you can kind of run this, get a couple drafts, but that shock is coming. It's always right. going to come, and you got to be ready for it. See, okay. They Save see. the burnout. Yep. Save, oh, no, save. sorry. It's somebody else. They yeah, somebody else is a burnout. Lucky and Knight, though, you can tell that they oh, want to win this ready. one. They're, they're ready. None of them did those kind of, like, you know, little troll burnouts. Mm -hmm. None of that. They're, they're trying to go all in. Yeah. It would be smart to actually run this one, though. Because, it would. you know, it's a, it's a little casual room, so. Yeah, but Pretty you know good. what? We'll have to see what happens. Lucky is holding a kind of strong first place right now. Mm -hmm. Knight all the way back in seventh. He might be yeah. losing a little bit. His first lap, Knight, it, he's probably going to collect his coins, try to get a nice item, and then... And then pull it from out. there. Yeah, and then bag it from there. Yep. But Knight is just trying to get up to a good spot first and then maybe bag some items. Mm -hmm. Lucky Lucky holding first. a strong, but he's grinding against the, the dirt there. Mm -hmm. So trying to get the tightest not getting, turns. Yeah, trying to get the tightest turns, but maybe lost a little bit of drift momentum. Basically. Yeah, see, mm. now, now he's trying to stay the a little bit. Lucky Lucky with Knight with no defense. On the train tracks now is lucky. Bomb on the tracks. Mm. Yikes. Gets technical. He's out of here. Yeah, technical is going to have to regroup from that one because yeah. he kind of drove right into it. Now Nice looks like he's going to bag an item with Luckyo just nice back cruising through the train tunnel. Tight corner as he possibly can. That's something Lucio always. coming for Lucio, by the way. Uh oh. Ooh, Knight gets oh, wait, hit by but, it. But it may not matter because <laughs> Knight Knight. riding somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, it may not so matter. much chaos Jeez. happening right now. I don't even know what to say about These this. These poor two guys. Lucky was just kind of like, I'm cruising. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm God. <laughs> now he's just having a rough time. He's trying to. He's like, I'm doing this for the clan. Yeah, right. I'm doing it for the clan. <laughs> Got a red BM, man. Got a red BM. Right now, he may not be looking so good, but Lucky was just like, I got it. Knight with the luckiest golden of his life. He's gonna take that all the way to yeah, the cut. I mean, yeah. to the end. Sorry. All the way to the with cut. The and Lucky, of course. What would, what would you expect? Knight with a fourth place. He still may secure. Top five, though, because I believe he's top five. No, top four, but where mm. will he fall? Lucky O tying for second. Yeah, he'll get fifth, but Lucky O, Lucky o securing a strong second place. Surprising he get first with the amount of good performance he's put up. But I guess those and two races where he fell short just kind of ate him up right there. But he was still able to get good positions otherwise. It was either save MVPing Lucky O at second, technical at fourth, nation in fifth. But you know what? I hey, that's that was. Uh, that's good. That's good stuff right there. You know they. Mm -hmm. um, they tried their best. Obviously, you're not going to get first every single time. Probably not. No, so you, you just got to do what you can. And these guys, they both know their uh, their stuff super well. So all they could do is just um, try and win and just hope for the best. Yeah, man. So that's it. Yeah, man, that's it. I all guess right, you want to take a round. little slight break? Yeah, we'll take a slight break. Right. We'll be back. Thank you guys at Encore. Steez.
Okay. All right, we are back. Hello, everyone. We're back here with the redemption bracket of 200 CC. I'm here, joined once again by Knight, all the way from Vegas. Hi, Knight. How's it going? How how did you uh, enjoy that qualifier, man? That was intense. It was chaotic. Uh, it was probably good for the viewers. I know. Yeah. Be, I know from your seat, you kind of struggle a bit. Well, I think the biggest thing I had just kind of learned was you're playing on split screen, so you have a limited field of view. And I chained a few items I shouldn't have, but honestly, like, I missed. Like, I don't think I could have avoided a majority of the backs, though, that I was dealt, yeah. like, in the bombs. Like, it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But I got lucky on Calamari. I kind of stayed in the back. I pulled a boo, golden, and then I chained the boo, and, and well, I got a, a shroom off the boo, so. Uh, I knew I had I knew I had to beat the King Boo, and I was driving in my rear view like the entire yeah. time. Same here. I was just playing points. I, yeah. like, I got a few good finishes, especially at Shroom, Ri Shroom Ridge. Got second after whatever the heck happened with the Bob Bomb uh, coming off the shortcut. Yeah, there was a the Bob Bomb on um, on uh, yeah Shroom Ridge. I saw that, but I got bombed uh, by first place on Toad Circuit. And Toad um, Circuit. I don't think we play on Toad Circuit. We did the very first race. No, no, I think that was Mario Circuit. Mario oh my bad. Yeah, the new, the new one, the new one. Mario the Circuit one. three from the yes yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, I got to see the BM tag there. That's, that's hype. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, but you know, I think that's like one thing you got to learn is you got to learn how the, the split screen dynamic works. And honestly, too, yeah. I missed the start because Lucky and I had a d identical loadouts. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know what side it was on. Play one and is then, all, yeah, okay. player one's on the thing left. For a lesson for basic, play one is always on the left. Player two is always on the right. Yeah, I'm and, slow. Don't worry about it. And if it's four players, or at least three players, it goes down to 30 FPS. Yeah, that's true. So just be glad we're not doing four, four oh, players man. split screen. Imagine that. So this is 200cc redemption. So this is going to determine the final two spots going into the finals. Yep. And we'll probably have our strongest contender in the 200cc bracket. Bredman, Bredman has been impressing me ever since he showed up in 200cc. He's a 200cc specialist, but we also have some 200cc specialists here. Also, mm -hmm. but fortunately for everyone else, they moved on. Yeah, the, a lot of the Division One rated R players, uh, and I had an undefeated run in 200 Redemption. Um, I'm, I think I'm the longest tenured winner in history in all of lands for 200 Redemption, mainly Baby Park. But also, there was a little bit of a battle mode Redemption yeah. Vegas had for a little bit. But Braun has been doing incredibly well, yep. uh, even on the 150 end. So he's just got to lock this up. They're going Coconut Mall, which technically isn't 
part of the new... No, no that was Wave 1 DLC. Uh, but, who can, I like Coconut Mall, so I don't mind. I don't like Coconut Mall, it's way too technical. Especially this section. You gotta check in a certain way so you don't go flying off the track. 200 CC, it's fine. Oh, like that, how MGJ just hits the wall. Because uh, you lose some control over here. Control coming from this first floor section into the second floor section. Oh, there go the cars. Yep. Nice. New, up oh. New update for this track and along with a few others. The cars now do burnouts. And that will knock you out. I know in the first wave, a lot of people make a claim about that. The cars now still don't affect you. They rectify that. But however, Bourbon checking out. Look at the lead Bourbon has built against second place Mero. That is about, I don't know, five, six seconds, maybe more. Oh, at least, yeah. Ron is in a league of his own right now. And yeah, it's really exciting to see that Nintendo's listened to the feedback of the player base and that they've added that in. So, but Ron, right now, I mean. Half a, half a way down the track as everyone's just starting the second lap. Is right now, I do believe it's going to be a race for second place overall to get locked in that final spot. I don't want to speak too soon, but I have to agree with you. I think it's going to be a race for the second spot if yep. LeBron keeps this and up. And so far, Lele Sus is in that second spot that both is coming up. And do you think Mero? Oh, Lele just got bumped. Mike making a second. It's going to be a mad dash. MGJ still has a chance to pull something good here. Uh, no, Mero takes second, I believe. Followed by Lele Sus. And however that bullet bill is, takes fourth. That's MTJ. it for this game, first race. Yeah, takes fifth. So this is going to be interesting. Huge win there for LeBron. And we're going to see how things will kind of shake out going into race number two. Now, how many races is this? Is this I still believe it's still six. It's six? Okay. Well, so six, ta six takes so quickly. Oh, oh it's four. four. Four races. Okay. I th yeah, I thought it was lower. But that's, yeah. you know, it's going to go quick regardless. Yep. So this is going to be huge. And so, yeah, I mean, Bebron is really interesting to me. Like, I, I mean, I knew of him by watching the Lin yep. tournament here, and I always love how I thought he was going to come dressed up as Mario. The toe was a great yeah. um, change of pace. And I think what's cool about him is, is like, you just saw that with the equalizer of the DLC, yep. he had a phenomenal run. Sin just, just beat him yep. out briefly. Speaking of DLC tracks, we're finally racing on a new DLC track in Pack 2. This is very interesting track, Snowland from Super Circuit. Two words, everyone, ice physics. There is ice physics in this track. It definitely feels different from yeah. the other tracks. It's all asphalt dirt. No, especially this section. Look at them. You're going to run a lot wider here into the final turn. Luckily, I don't think you need to use any brake here compared to the other tracks. I think Bebron is. I think I can hear the brake being applied in some cases. Only on a few turns, especially that hairpin turn that's coming up that's like turn four or five. But yeah, the, the physics are different. It's like you're driving a Zamboni. And I also think you can take that shortcut, too, on 200. I know I was talking with Eric about it. Yeah, well, shroomless shortcut, correct? I believe on 200 you can do it shroomless, and, and obviously 150 you do need to have a mushroom yeah. for it. A few shortcuts in there. There is one section they cut out on this track. See the turn 1, 2, 3? There used to be an alternate path that would take you to get more coins in Super Circuit. That's been cut. Now it's just one straight track. And speaking of which... Rebbin again checking out, but it looks like Mayo's picking up where he left off, finishing second, and Lele is all the way in third. So, status quo as it is right now, as MGJ moves himself to fourth, probably third here. Yes, up to third with that all pilot, that is the bullet bill. Maybe second, passing Mero. Yeah, he does take second. Rebbin finishing race, but it's gonna be a race for second right now as the blue shell comes out and basically not going to hit. Uh -oh. MGJ is off the track. I don't think that's causing that much time. Yeah, he'll beat the King Boo. Oh, oh no. no! There was a Boo! There he was got a bamboozled. Prime plan. There was a prime plan. Mayo barely taking second in that. And I still believe he, yes, he does retain his points advantage over the rest of the pack for that cutoff line. Uh, pardon my ignorance, but I did travel here. Who is uh, who's the King Boo in Encore 1? King Boo? That would be Layla Sus. Interesting, because yes. um, I know one of the players over there, they're playing, I think, with like a keyboard controller. That, that'll be Mero. We, Ma found Mero. It in, we found it in the closet here. Really? So he's Resort. like adopted it? He, yeah, just for this tournament. That's insane. Yeah, so yeah, she was she was playing incredibly well if she was King Boo. I, I was who I had to beat out oh, to make it into the tournament. Yeah. Um, and, and I literally, to your point, I think the last two races, I had to literally play against her. Uh, kind of like in a lounge yeah. mindset. I, I, like you said, you can't focus sometimes on the big picture. And I was trying to, you know, 
outpaced Luckyo. Luckyo kind of posterized me, focused on um, you know just just taking down that player. Yep. Sometimes you got to do that in tournaments, you know. But luckily for them, this is a double elimination scenario. So more bases, more fun. As we move on to the new new course, this is Mushroom Gorge from Wii. And unlike the Wii, the machine's been flat, but it's still pretty technical. You can easily fall off from the bounce sections into the green section back here. And especially in the chasm coming up, Revan actually gets hit and maybe. Does he fall off? No, he stays on. Nope. Spoke too soon. He will drop down to about fourth, third. So it's Mail and Heron lead, followed by MGJ. Revan taking third. And I do believe that uh, King Boo, Layla Sus, coming out to top. Five right now. Now, the good thing about Run is that he does have a cushion by winning those first two races. He is getting battled here a little bit by that other player, MTJ. They're in fourth, but Mayro is just really building a sizable lead here. Is that red going to be targeting? But Bron, it no, is. yes, but it the is. blue is. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh, look at the bomb! Yep, the crazy eight. MTJ really trying to take out Bron, but to no avail. This Lily Sus Ali actually back spamming and taking that second space. Yeah, Lily is is being super Ooh. dominant there with the items. And so yeah, a lot going on. MGJ just fell off the first mushroom section. But Brevin picking it back up in a second. And I think that was a target shot for Mamo because he for fell first, off. Yeah, that's huge. Oh, this is big implications. Where is he gonna land? He does get an item. Oh, but he but Brian missed the trick! He lands in between the shoe, man. That would make Mayo fall by Layla Sus. Fall by Will be No, it's Revan taking third. MGJ will take your fourth. Lily getting second, so. And that was shaking the sword just a little bit. That is going to mean that the top two have checked out by a little. Yeah, it's still a five point gap. So Layla. Five points, yeah, but it is a six player room, so that is a little bit n larger than normal. Yeah. Mathematically, she's still in it, but it's going to take a lot of efforts and a lot of luck to get into the finals. Oh, especially with four. Yeah, that means we have what we're on race number. This is, this is the, the final, final race. race. Yeah, she's going to need to like win and have them get a bottom spot here. But we'll have to see how this will play out, Yep. to be honest. And credit to Layla. She's been here before. She's been in the finals a couple of times. I really impressed her on her first outing too. Made it to the finals on her first try with the talent pool that we had. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the local talent pool of some of these tournaments, honestly. Um, they're, I mean, per per capita, I guess. Yeah. Like obviously, the you can't really think about the Vegas term because they're gonna have like 40 of the yeah. 60 players be casuals, um, tourists. But like when you just factor in the core local players here behind some of these competitive players, like they're all pound for pound really good. Yep. And they're making you sweat in the qualifiers, which you know when you come in from Vegas, when you know you're going up against a four-year-old who's Joyriding, yeah. you know, it you really makes you think, you know, you gotta be trying all all rounds. You know, you can't yeah. just you can't just coast. I I learned that exactly on this track. It's like, oh I could probably just play points and like lay back. No, you have to be on the A game and be aware of everything around you 24-7. I'll yeah. say this. I haven't gotten any practice till two nights ago when I was just doing a track walk on this. And it showed, and it showed. Because I barely squeaked out getting fourth. I was just one place above you. Yeah. Man. No, I, I practiced this track a little bit. I only had maybe about an hour. But, man, I was really trying to zoom through some cuts. I just missed times and dodges and got bombed pretty heavily by first. Big blue here onto Bebron. No. Final lap. Here's where the implications get crazy. Mayro there in first. Going to get hit out. Now, the real question uh, is where is Lily going to be able to make a big P5 run here? still. Yeah, in the now back. The fourth. But I, yeah, it's gonna be really hard for Layla to catch up. She has to make a dash for it right now and probably take out Mayo in the process. She does get up to third, but I don't think it's gonna be enough for the position to hit. Yeah. position stays as it is. The timing's too late. It's gonna be Bebron. Mayro uh, oh, top two. I think Mayro did oh. cross the line as uh, yes. the map just skipped no, a little wait. bit. No, wait. No, no, no. I, I don't think it'll be enough though if she did pass. Yeah, she, it's only gonna be a point. Yeah. So two points, probably. Yep, it's gonna be a three point gap. Mayro's gonna take the last spot there. Over Lily. Yep. Rebe and Mayro uh, moved on. Everyone else is eliminated. But great try by them. It's been a really tough competition. It's been really close. A lot closer than I expected. We do these monthly, not weeklies like Vegas. Yeah, and so, level of talent here is pretty good. Yeah. So These guys keep improving and improving. And don't be afraid to come over here. Don't be afraid to show up to these tournaments. I know 
we've been talking about the talent and how tough the talent is. It's still a good time out here. There's yeah. other stuff here to do. We have LAN parties over here. We got computers. Just come out. Have so fun. Have chill fun. vibe, and it's right. It's literally like a less than a five minute walk from the Amtrak train in, in Metro North. Mm -hmm. So pretty solid location. You can't beat it. And yeah, just the, the community here, the vibes are all pretty positive. So. Yep. But I think that's it for 200 CC Redemption. We'll be back for a grand finale, eight races, all chaos. We'll see you then, everyone. I'm Knight. Uh, I'm Kyo. That's Knight. Really? We'll see you guys later. We'll see, we switched see you guys names. Later. We switched bodies. We'll be back after this. Thank you. 
turn this on. He's turning this on. Hey, here we are. I hear us. You hear us? <laughs> All right. Well, welcome back, everybody. We're going into the finals. Yes, it's happened that quick already. Yep. We got Darky and Luckyo on stream. This should be a good matchup. These are two probably the best guys that have been in the entire tournament. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, without a doubt. Luckyo, I actually was um, commentating for in the uh, second round, and he was just going off. He was going completely off. He was not messing around one bit. Oh, without a doubt. So yeah. I can't wait to say what Darky puts up against these two. I've never actually seen these two go head to head on stream. I mean, I was here uh, back in February where they actually went head to head, but I wasn't on the commentator's desk. So yeah. see how it comes out a couple months later. Mm -hmm. See how it turns out. We're going to the first track, and of course, showing mm -hmm. up the DS footage mm -hmm. from Darky. But we're at Waluigi Pinball. This is actually how we started off the tournament today. Yeah. Uh, new tracks every start of the race. That's right. The DLC track to start off. And they're off. Luckyo. I feel like that's another troll star from Luckyo. He's done that once before. But they're just going to go straight into it. Here we go. Luckyo starting off at 11. And then you know what? I feel like that was purposeful. Yeah, always get those items through. Well, of course. You want to you wanna bag as most of the time as you can. This is such a nostalgic track for anybody who played Mario Kart even back on the Nintendo DS days. Oh, and there goes uh, whoever is on Encore. Which one was that? Whoever is on Encore 6. Right now, the main focus is on Luckyo and Darky, who are kind of neck and neck, right on each other's tail. Darky's really got no items to bag, but Luckyo has a triple green shell and a mushroom that he has saved. He might end up using the mushroom here. He does. Luckyo's going to hold on the green shell. More or less, you think the triple green shell is more for defense? I think it's good for defense. Like, I mean, oh. Oh, no, and he got taken away. Never mind. No, no, no. Never mind. But yeah, I think it's definitely a better defensive tool than an offensive I mean, tool. It also keeps people away from you, so they don't want to get near you. Exactly, because you know, if you drift right into somebody, goodbye. Yep. Oh, that's like what happened right there. Right ha right there. Perfect instance. Darky's trying to take a strong lead, whoever was at Encore 4. Again, Darky really got no items to bag. Probably just holding onto the mushroom until he gets the next item box and troll people for a little while. Luckyo is pushed all the way back to fifth. They gets hit by the pinball. Ooh. That's a little rough for Luckyo as he's back all the way in ninth now. Maybe get some good items here. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Oh. I mean, Lucky has got a triple mushroom and a star at his disposal. He might want to use the star sooner than later because sooner or later he's going to get to that straightaway. Darky holding a strong first place. He might just secure it right here. But not if Lucky has anything to say about it. He's cruising right through. Oh, somebody just got whacked. Uh, it's good to see that. <laughs> Darky's holding a strong first position. I feel like here he's kind of got it. What we'll have to see is Luckyo starting to catch up. You can see Luckyo's now got a bit more determination on his fate after that burnout start. I thought that. Yeah. Oh. Nasty move there. Luckyo is trying to fight his way back up to the front. There comes a blue shell. Darky's going to have unexpected company. And is he just going to take it? He might. Yeah. He's just going to take it. Oh, no, he dodged it. Oh, he dodged it. What a smart move by Darky. People don't realize how big that is. I know. Especially if somebody is right up on your tail, which I don't think anybody is on Darky, but they could catch up, and there goes the lightning bolt. Trying to ruin everybody's day. Luckyo's not far behind, so if he can cover some good ground here. But his double item box is snatched away from him. Yikes. Darkyo looks like he has this in the bag. Tried to get a bait in the corner, and he'll, he won't get first. Oh. Or, wow. wow! What a setback for Darky, and Luckyo actually gets above him. Lucky was back behind Dark the whole race, but gets, gets right in front. It's just an unfortunate turn of events for Darky as he gets pushed all the way back to fifth. That entire third lap he held third. And you could tell he's frustrated. Oh, wow. that, you hate to see that, especially for somebody who is holding that for that entire lap. And then all of a sudden, lead just diminishes. It's even, gone. He even, even dodged the blue shell, too. Yeah, he dodged the blue shell, but he couldn't dodge a red shell in a corner. And from there, it just fell apart. Yeah. That's unbelievable. But they'll go back into it. I mean, it's round two, I believe. Or I believe this is six races? Uh, I believe so. I believe so, yeah. Because it was six in the first uh, first round. So it might be going back to some here. We just had the redemption round where, uh, you know, kind of the top two made it. But right now we're in the finals of the full 12. Ooh, and it looks Bowser like we'll be going to... I don't know the images that will be... Uh, it was Neo tracks. Bowser City. Neo Bowser City. Oh, I love this track. Back when this was on the 3DS during Mario Kart 7, I used to race on this all the time. It was so fun. It was so fun. It's such a treacherous track. This truly is a drifter's best friend. Oh, without there's, a doubt. There, there's like no straightaways on this. The big turn at the end is really where you can cover a lot of ground. 
But mostly in those tight turns, you get nowhere. And see, none of them will go for a burnout this time because Luckyo and Darky both know they need, they, need, they need to have serious ground to cover. Wow, just kind of both boosting off each other. Luckyo's going to take a strong first place position. He's not messing around. Darky's trying to cover some ground to get the Luckyo spot. Both of them actually, you can tell, are running the same set setup. This, this setup here with uh, the the Wiggler car and those wheels has to be some sort of like meta. I, be I believe it's the meta. It's probably the best setup for most of the drafts, too. It probably is. Especially, you know, if you want a good drifting, you want the good hops. See, right there, that turn right there into that final corner is about your best friend. That's where you can cover the most ground. Other than that, it's S curve after S curve after S curve. But Lucky has a good sizable lead. Darky's the only real competition he has right now. Lucky has got Banana the bag, but he's going to use it. But Darky's got his little defense green shell mechanism going, and he's got a red shell bag. Oh, oh here comes the blue shell. Lucky O, no escaping nope. that one. No escaping that one, and Darky's going to pull ahead in first place. Oh, and Lucky O just got uh, the Mega Horn, too. Oh, geez. So if he gets if he gets near Darky, it's over for him. He's probably going to say that when he gets close enough. Now, okay, now he has to use that. Oh. And he loses the horn. Oh, wait, no, oh, he still he, has it. He's, no, he's got a new horn. Oh, he got another one. How lucky is Lucky O? Uh, his, name, his name speaks louder than you think. No wonder he's called Lucky O. Overtake first. Luckyo has a consistency of trying to hold the tightest corners possible. Oh, yes. That's how he gains the most momentum. Darky trying to bag as many items, but he gets screwed over again. Luckyo holding a strong first place. He might take it here. We'll see. They're coming up to the big turn, which is about the ultimate catching up point. But it looks like it's going to be no problem for Luckyo. He may have missed it. No, he didn't. Nope. Secures a first place bag. With Darky getting just a tad closer in third. Oh, man, that was quite an intense race. And that was more intense than the first one, it felt. Maybe it's because this track has so many tight corners, it feels like it goes by quicker. Oh, without a doubt, he goes getting constant drifts. Oh, man. Yeah, you can tell Luckyo is just trying to play it safe. He's trying to do whatever he can so he can secure this bag, and then maybe he'll do a little bit of trolling. Maybe. 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 Darky looks a little bit frustrated, though. He looks like he needs to yeah. get back into this yeah. however he can. Well, because fir yeah, first race, you have fourth place. This race, third place. It's not looking too good. No, start. it's not looking too good at all. He's gonna. Tr I hope he's going to try and cover some ground however he can because um, if he doesn't, he's not going to be able to catch up to uh, Luckyo, who secured first place once, but he didn't actually secure – he secured th third place in the first one. Yep. So Luckyo still got some uh, – I think lead to build too, but Darky, I think, uh, I think his motivation should be more or less on catching up on Luckyo. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. Well, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. All right, we're going to the Animal Crossing track for the third track. Got stats there. Yeah, Luckyo and yeah, Luckyo and whoever's in Encore One and Encore Two. We got a three-way tie for first right now. Oh man. Interesting. All right, so we're on the Animal Crossing track. I didn't. I forgot to look at the name. I'm sorry. But you know what? Here we go with race number three. And Darky just kind of going backwards, and it looks like he's trolling a little bit. Yes, he is. Maybe Darky knows he does not going to win this, but he's still going to have fun with it. <laughs> and Lucky was just kind of waiting for him. Is he waiting for him? Are you, or are you waiting for good items? Waiting for good items, yeah. That's smart, yeah, because he could probably cover ground just without any items, period. So he's probably just kind of holding it however he can. Yeah, both of them are kind of staying back for this one. Oh, what, what just happened? Uh-oh. Oh, looks like we got a uh, someone DC'd. Someone DC'd. We got a little bit of a uh, technical difficulty right now. It happens. It happens. Hopefully, we'll be back up in a minute. Don't know who DC'd, but we'll find out. Okay, so I think I just overheard that the first two races are counting, but we're restarting the third one. Yep, that's what they did last week. I mean, well, last time anyway. Last tournament, really? Last yeah. month they did that? Yep. Wow. I think we DC twice. Twice? Yes. Wow. Somebody, somebody doesn't have good connectivity, but you know what? It happens. Yep. Believe me, if anybody knows connectivity issues, it's me. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we'll be getting back to a quick restart momentarily. Yep. 
Uh, anybody's tuning in on stream, you probably have no idea what just happened because we're mainly just looking at Luckyo and Darky right now on stream. Okay, and I just overheard we're going to have everybody pick the same stage again. Uh, we're going to be going right back into it with hopefully everybody here. Hopefully nobody DCs again. Because if we get another DC, we're going to get a major setback, I feel. Yeah. It, that's going to be more annoying to see who's actually in first now with the points. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the points may be a little screwed up. You're correct. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, last time they guess, uh, they have a screenshot of the current score, so they're just going to combine them at the end. And right, so, we so we're going to have to see who actually won. It's... Let's be real, it's probably going to be Luckyo. Uh, so far, that's what it seems like. But it was a three-way tie at the start. It I was think. a three-way tie with 24, so we'll just have to see. They have a screenshot of the... Uh... Okay, so we're going to go for the Animal Crossing one again, because that's where we're going to restart at. But, um... <clears throat> yeah, so... We're going to just get a quick restart, because, um, as you said, somebody accidentally DC'd. Yeah. So... Oh, they, they, put, they set it on six races, but there's only four left. Uh... Yeah, so right, the yeah, finals are eight races. Oh, it's eight races? Okay. Oh, it's eight races. Okay. Uh, even better. More gameplay. <laughs> more gameplay. More commentary. <laughs> more at the commentator's desk. And again, just showing off his Mario Kart DS. That looks like seven. Is that seven? Yeah, that's seven. That's seven. <laughs> You're showing off now. He, he is showing off. Look at him. <laughs> hip, hip hopping around. All right, we're going to go back to uh, the Animal Crossing set. Looks like we're doing things a little bit different because it looks like we actually got like a four set of races. Doesn't really matter. Oh, my God, which one is it going to be? Which one is it going to be? Oh, wow, what is that one? No, let me go. The okay. real question, what season? <laughs> yeah, which season? Are we going to get winter? Are we going to get autumn? Are we going to fall? That's right because it actually is a, um, it's a uh, uh, season cycle map. Yep. So are we going to get the snow? It would be really fitting if we got the snow. No, we're in spring. That's still a nice time of year. Oh, nice. All right, so after that, we're going to get a quick restart. And here we go. Yeah. Both Luckyo and Darky fresh off the line. Uh, Never mind, Luckyo is just going to do a quick turnaround. Never mind, looks like a bunch of them actually turned around. Or just kind of waiting. And OK, here we go. Darky's wasting no time, but Lucky was just like, I got it. Yeah, well, Darky has to uh, make up the point loss difference. That's true. Yeah, he does have to make up the point loss difference. I think he'd probably be in fourth place overall right now from the total scores, I think. So. Right. It, it may. It, yeah, I, I believe he's in fourth or tied for third. I can't remember which. Hopefully, we'll get a uh, refresher with the screenshot if we have one. But right now, we're just going to. Uh, keep watching the race and see who keeps going on between Lucky and Darky. And OK, that was a little mean, Darky. Oh. <laughs> oh, and he just took three with him. Oh, my that God. That was cruel. That was mean. I mean, if you can, do it. Do it. But you know what? doesn't make it right. <laughs> but you know what? He still did it. Both of these, both Dark and Loki were kind of just sitting in the back, and that's probably purposeful. I mean, yeah, you don't want to get, you, if, you don't, if you don't have the items to pretend yourself and uh, defend yourself when you're front, you're definitely going to get hit backwards. Exactly, yeah. I'll tell you, being on the uh, being being on the stream and going up against these tough competitors is harder than it looks. It really is harder than it looks. Yeah. Have you been on the uh, stream yet? Like actually on like either of these screens? Uh, oh, oh, uh, last tournament I was. I had that go. Oh, I lost big. I lost big because these guys are good. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what happens, you know. You run into uh, these are some of like probably the best players in the world, so you just can't help but feel like, man. What can I do? I mean, if you want to get better, you have to play against these type of people. Exactly. The more you play against these people, you, the more you understand the methods, right? Yeah. Even Let's though he's watching this now, I'm just learning more. Yeah, you know what? It, it, Dark is sitting in fourth, and they're near the final checkpoint. Or well, they're near the final lap. And he's still able to secure top three. And Lucky will back all the way to 10th. Yikes. Yo, that's... That is going to set him back big time. Ooh. Wow. That's something I didn't expect. All of a sudden, for Lucky, it just looked like it fell apart for a sec. But my goodness. I mean, that's how it be sometimes, Mario Kart. That's how it be sometimes, indeed. But that's just unfortunate. Yeah, Lucky looks a little bummed. Darky's going, like, full concentration mode. He wants to win. <laughs> he wants to win now that he knows that we got a fresh restart and we're just going to go back into it. But, man, that's upsetting. Poor Lucky. All right, we're going into the next selection of tracks. 
Oh. Oh, a lot of the dolphin ones. Oh, boy. A lot of... About half of these are aqua theme. What's going on here? Am I seeing a the theme? Yeah. I'm seeing a the theme here. And we, and we get none of the aqua parks. What none do, of them. What, what do you know? Instead, instead of that, we actually get Yoshi Valley. Yoshi Valley, that's one of my favorites, actually. And 64 days. Yeah, exactly. Yoshi, Yoshi Valley is actually one of my friend's favorites. Used to race on it all the time. Whenever we'd play Mario Kart at his house, he'd be like, so which race are you doing first? Yoshi Valley. <laughs> it's always Yoshi Valley. It's such a... Uh, Simpler track compared to a lot of the other ones that we see, but still doesn't mean it's easy. Darky and Luckyo fresh off the line. Luckyo is just kind of sitting this one back, not quite sure what he's doing. A, a lot of people. Oh, are he's farming. just. Oh, he's getting good items. Yeah, he's, a he's a lot of people are farming items. for good items back there. I think half the race was. <laughs> Looks like it. Darky doesn't seem to care. Darky's just like, I want to win, and that didn't pay off so well. Darky immediately falls off the map, and here comes Luckyo. Here comes Luckyo. Darky's just kind of staying back now. Oh. Hopefully, wait. Yeah, he's trying to farm good items again. Lucky is going to take a strong fifth place. And here comes Darky. Oh. Lucky here he taking comes. That taking the insane shortcut with the boost shroom. And he gets the eight. Hopefully, this helps him. I mean, he hasn't grown too much in position so far, but. Oh, there's a blue shell on that mat. Maybe it can make uh -oh. it some distance. Maybe. Depends how far first place is. Can't really see it from up here. Here comes Darky. Oh, trying man. to pull into the top three. Oh my god, this is just chaotic. This is chaotic. Everybody's just staying back. Everybody's farming for new items. Also, whoever's username is L plus ratio. I love you. So that's just funny. Oh, and, and somebody just got ratioed. Oh, Darky taking first place. This is what he's been waiting for all along. Now he's going to hold the tight corners, and now he doesn't care about farming items. This is what Darky wanted. Oh. oh, he's taking the optimal path right now. He is. Now Luckyo is going to have to gain some ground, and now I bet Luckyo is panicking a little bit. Oh, oh Darky went back and dodged the blue shot, but first, first place out of Megahorn. So he doesn't want to get too close. Whoever has that Megahorn is going to hold it. Wow, Luckyo barely just dodged the bomb from Darky. Barely. Luckyo is going to try... Hopefully he gets something. He gets the double stack. A red shell. He's going to have to do it. The horn isn't used. No, they didn't use the horn. Darky might steal it. And it looks like Darky will steal it. Uh -huh. Absolutely phenomenal stuff from Darky as he used all that time, farmed his good items, waited till he got first to the very last lap, and then held it. Yep. That's how a pro does it. That's absolutely how a pro does it. Oh, man. <laughs> lucky though, ain't getting so lucky though with the positions that he's been getting and the predicaments he's putting himself in. Ever, ever since that, re, ever since the DC and restarting this game, he hasn't been doing so well. Maybe it threw, maybe it threw off his flow. You're right. And and and, and they and they say that uh, what's the saying? And they say superstition isn't a thing. <laughs> Definitely is, unless Lucky can pull something out of the hat and try and get back in this. Then he may still have, may, may not have a shot. You know, Lucky is since it's Lucky is really uh, really good at this game. Yeah. I feel like he's just, uh, holding back and it's gonna come out of nowhere for, for all. You we think know. he's holding back, especially when we're this far into it already? Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, he could like if all of a sudden he gets like, yeah, oh, I'm oh, nope, first place. Like, you never know. He definitely could. He ha he has the skills to do that, but it's just a matter of. Uh, I mean, technically speaking, we're four four races into this. We're halfway through now. Yeah. So even with the points now, he's not holding the best position. So we're going to have to see what exactly um, Luckyo wants to do for the remaining races. Yeah. All right. All right. We're still waiting for them to choose their... Still waiting for oh, a few more. Oh, some people... Uh, did some people DC? No, I don't, think, I don't think we DC. I think some people got control uh, connectivity issues. Oh, all right. If there was another DC, I would have cried. <laughs> I know. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going back into it. All right, here we go. Oh, they weren't back in the lobby. Okay, yeah, somebody okay. somebody did indeed DC. We got a second DC of the night. Oh, man. Well, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Um, oh, good. Take a screenshot. <laughs> you get another screenshot of those points, please. Yeah, honk that horn, Darky. 
The Horn of Rage. All right, well, looks like we're going to have to take another short intermission, kind of, because we got another DC. Oh, man, this is a... Uh... This is not something you would normally see, at least I don't think. There's not some sort of Mario Kart curse going on, right? Mario Curse 8. <laughs> oh, my God. Mario Curse. All right, we're going to get a new session start up. Hopefully, with, with uh, screenshots and people tuning in and a good tracking of the points, we can figure out who's and where right now. Oh, Lockheel running with a different setup, actually. You saw that, right? Uh, yeah, I, I guess he wasn't feeling the wiggler was doing much for him. Yeah. Personally, I don't follow the meta. I'm more of a casual Mario Kart player. <laughs> Mario Kart, man. I don't know, I just don't follow game metas sometimes. <sighs> I mean, for me, it doesn't really matter meta as long as I beat my friends, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know what? <laughs> it's a friendly, at the end of the day, it's a friendly competition because everybody here kind of knows each other, so. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? You still want to be, you still want to be number one. Oh, well, that's you for sure. You still want to be number one no matter what. You still want to put up the best performance you can. I certainly wanted to, but, you know. So I assume that you have actually raced today. Oh, yes, I did. You did race today. How'd you do? Oh, absolutely horrible. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, I don't, since the audience can't see it, I, I brought a, a very special controller with me to play with. Right. I hope I hope <laughs> Ryan can actually we can get this on feed at some point just so we can actually see this. Oh, he's not at the, oh, man. Not at the computer right now, but maybe by the end we'll get to show this off for a quick second because, oh, my God. <laughs> just, just, oh, my God. I've never seen this before in my life, and quite frankly, I just it, yes, take a picture. Yeah. No, yeah, just, just, just. Hey, no, no, take another one. Take another one. Don't say that on stream. No. Take it. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Uh, okay, so hopefully everybody's in the lobby now after a second DC. Yes. Uh, looks like they're going through every point. We're getting situated. We're not quite there yet. To anybody who this is, to anybody who's tuning in, this is what happens when you have about 12 people participating in a tournament. It only takes one. It takes one. It only takes one. Doesn't matter. If, I, I guess it doesn't matter then if you have a team of 12, 10, or eight. It takes one. Yeah. One person, and it all falls downhill. Actually, funny story. When uh, the February tournament had happened, uh, back in early February or whenever it was, um, during the finals, right off the line. Uh, the person I was with, our controller was disconnected. Oh, yeah. So we got about maybe a five-second um, DC, and then we were back into it. <laughs> That's for sure. We didn't do that well, but. Uh -huh. Okay, well, looks like we're getting the stuff back into it. Another four races. Yeah, because we're about halfway through now. So let's see. <laughs> All right, so... If we do our counting correctly, we should be halfway through because yes, eight races. Eight races, four games now. Yep. And hopefully we got the screenshot of the points. So at the end of this, oh, we'll find out who actually won. Yep. We can't trust the standings right now. I love math. I'm going to be combining so many screenshots. We love to see that. <laughs> I can't wait for all the math. I can't, I can't wait for the on-stream calculator we're about to get. <laughs> all right, let's do it. We're going into the final four races, and look at that. Everybody clean off the board. Yep. Everybody's clean off the board. But as we all know, we, we got a two-time DC, so let's get back into it. Yeah. yeah. First race, that's a lie. This is race number four. Oh, no. This is the fifth race. <laughs> is it? Yeah, we did four games already. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I'm starting to lose track now. Somebody get me a calculator. And Darky's trying to go for some sneaky moves. He'll get it. If, if you've played Mario Kart enough, you know that this is just... This is just something you see out of pros. It's unbelievable how fast they can move the track. And the bull said, surprise! The Darky gave him a little visit. Lucky is all the way back. Trying to probably get some good items again, but Darky doesn't care. Yeah. Darky's already had two DCs. He's like, all right, I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm trying to win this. And, and Darky's holding up very far ahead, man. He is. There's like, almost. Look at that. There's so many snow near him. Yeah, he, he knows. I think he, he knows to make the shortcuts on this map. That's for sure. You don't, I don't really even think he needs to bag any. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here comes Luckyo. Didn't get affected by the lightning, but a sitting green shield. 
Got him, though. Oof. Interesting. But Luckio is still holding a good spot here. Darky. Here comes Luckio. Here he comes with the bullet bill, but Darky's holding a strong first place. Doesn't look oh. like he missing pressure. Not if that blue shell has anything to say about it, though. Darky has a mega horn. Yo, he got it at the last second. Oh, my God. Got it out at the last second and was able to destroy the blue shell. And you can tell he's sweating hard for this one. He wants to get this one. I feel like maybe for the more dedicated ones to this, they've kind of been maybe thrown right. off rhythm. Darky so. taking first place and Luckyo taking second. Exactly. And just like that, it doesn't matter. Darky says, I want my rhythm. I'm going to get first here. And that's exactly what he did. <laughs> At this point, you almost have no words, right? Oh, well, that's for sure. Yeah. So, so at, at, at some point today, I, I just can't stop staring at this on the table. At some point, I want this controller shown because this is ridiculous. <laughs> and Ryan's away from the computer again. Oh, my God. We didn't get another DC again, did we? No, no, no. I really hope we did not just get another DC because if we got another DC. Oh, uh, no, we're good. We're good. We're good? Yeah, I see, okay, every, I see everyone in. We're good. We're good. Okay, race number six. Yep. Six, six. yeah. My question is for you, good sir. Where did you get this? Oh, I had to go to Owen, New York City, and get that. You went to so this was just something you found in Manhattan, and you went, yeah, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> feels like an actual steering wheel to like an F1 car. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Well, we're, we're definitely going to show this after stream because this is just too good to pass up. But on to more important matters. We're going into race number six, which is the newer Rainbow Road. Oh yeah. The one that got added with this game. None of the classic Rainbow Roads had any rage, but this is still a rage fest. Any Rainbow Road is a rage fest. That's for sure. So we'll see what the game plan for our top two boys is here. Here they go, fresh off the line. Oh. Looks like they're not messing around right here. I mean, there's some tracks where you feel like you really don't need to bag items, but this is one where I think where you definitely need to bag items. But it looks like neither of them are doing that. Lucky Otana taking an odd edge, but still manages to get back to the station. Darky holding a good first place. There they go. Wow, look at that shortcut by Darky. You've seen that a lot from other people. Oh, yeah. That's a common shortcut, but it's still so impressive to watch. Lucky has got to gain some ground as he's kind of far behind the leader. And now he's going to actually lose more ground as he's bumped all the way back to sixth. Back to seven, but Darky's still holding a strong first place. Yeah, making those tight corners. That's exactly what you need to do. Yeah. It is so tough to hold those tight corners. You need to be precise and you need to start them as soon as possible. Believe me, I tried the same tactic and Darky's gonna get red shelled in midair and he's gonna have to get Lakitude out of there. Oh, uh, Luckyo passing Darky. Oh, Luckyo's back in it, but he loses all of his red shells. How unfortunate, man. I love the distorted music that happens when uh, he gets shrunk. Oh, without a doubt. Our Darky looks like he's going to stay back some of the good items. So is Luckyo. Luckyo got the boost shroom. Darky with the piranha plant and the triple mushroom. Looks like he might be kind of just like waiting to use it. With a nice spin. Darky's back in sixth. Luckyo's back all the way in ninth. And they both get bumped down to the bottom. Luckyo is trying to really gain some ground, though. He might do it here with that boost shroom. He's kind of waiting on it. He might just have to use it here. No, we'll not he use he it there. To, he has to use it here because uh, there you go. Third lap. He had to use it sooner or later, and he will. Oh, He'll take the shortcut, and it will work out for him. Darky's in seventh. Luckyo with the bullet bill. And Luckyo is going to end up getting third out of that. So still a good position for Luckyo, but Darky will be in seven. Ooh. So now with only two races away from this being wrapped up, even with the math that I know Ryan's gonna love doing, we're gonna kind of we're gonna be in a weird spot here. Oh yeah. Because it, they, they've kind of been going back and forth in terms of who's on top and who's on the bottom. Uh, yeah, it's, with this is gonna be uh, anyone's game right now. Yeah, see, look, now now probably they both want to focus up for real here. No, without a doubt. As if they weren't focused up already, but, like, now they want nothing to stop them. Maybe they won't 
go back and look for good items. They'll just work with what they got. I'm pretty sure they're probably feeling the pressure right now. Oh, absolutely. If anybody feeling the pressure right now, I think it's Luckio, who just had an unfortunate end to Rainbow Road. I bet he wants to break a controller right now. <laughs> no. As anybody would with Rainbow Road. Oh, that's... All right, we're going to go into the seventh second to last race, I believe. And it's going to be... It's one of, it's one of the aquatic park maps. Oh. Again, I bad with pictures. Oh, water park. It's just called water park. How original, Nintendo. <laughs> but you know what? We'll take it. We're going to the seventh final race. Don't pay attention to those points. They don't matter. But what does matter is the fact that Luckio and Darky are going to have an epic battle for first place starting right now. And you're like, oh, both fresh off the line. Luckio trying to take those inside edges again. Nice slipstream that he gets off. Same with Velocchio, they both got a good slipstream off the drift. Oh, man. I looked like they might get a drift. Oh, they got another one. Love drift once there. Trying to take the tight corners, but uh, Luckio didn't really take any of the tight corners there. We kind of lost their camera feed, but that's okay. We can still tell who's who. Luckio straight into the trees. Oh, oh but he's still able to recover. That's okay. He got a little bit of bird's nest in his mouth, if anything. There oh. you go. Good good work of using the horn there by Luckio. Luckio was just going to cruise right through, hoping to get first place back. Straight from his other competitor, Darky. Both holding a tight corner. They're neck and neck. Darkio kind of it. Uh, I almost said, I said Darkio. Oh my god. <laughs> Darky and Luckio are just kind of neck and neck right now. It's like they're having their own little synchronized dance. Oh. Luckio's drift gets screwed over though. He took an outside edge to get as much uh, velo as he could, but it didn't work out, and it didn't work out for him again. Ooh. As he gets hit by an, by an opposing green shell. Yeah. Uh, Darky's in a good position right now. He's in a very good position. He's, He's kind of running away with it. Yeah. And Luckio, oh man, he has some serious ground to cover right yes, now. Yes, he does. Third lap. He's got a lot of ground to cover. He's got to hope for some kind of mushroom or shell or something like that because otherwise he's screwed. Yeah, oh, take, take a short of mushroom. And Darky, no hesitation. He oh. runs away with a victory. Oh. And Luckio still may, may managed to be able to get top five. Oh, fourth Fourth place right here, so it was. But given these standings, he still holds third place. But overall, we're not quite sure yet. Oh man. But Luckio, he could he could be losing it a little bit. You know, I thought going into this, especially with, you know, it being these two was gonna be tougher. But I'm starting to lean towards Darky because he really Darky really seemed to focus up, not rely on going back for good items, just kind of working with what he had. And that's what you kind of have to do in, like, a desperate measure situation. I know. Yeah, I noticed all these last few games, they've been checking up their strategy, that's for sure. They have been. They haven't been waiting back for good items. They've been just kind of going for it. Yep. And this should be the last race right now. This should be, yeah. I believe this is race number eight. This decides it all. Besides, but besides the math, this will decide it all. And it's going to be good old-fashioned, I believe, is that Toad Circuit? No, Mario Circuit. I Mario Circuit. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Mario Circuit. A classic Mario Kart 8 map to finish us off. And here it is, the final race. Even with the two DCs, we're going into the final race. Our eyes are on Darky and Luckio. And here we go. Oh. And oh. Never mind. I guess they heard us. I guess they heard us. They are going to be, you know, kind of switching. They're going back to their original strategy of going yeah. back and waiting for items. Yeah, I think six. I think there's like six or five people right there trying to get trying to get the items. Maybe, yeah. But we actually see there's a majority of people. Both the uh, there's a bunch of yeah, a lot of the um, that's about three up ahead who didn't stay back. They don't realize they're in for a rude awakening. As there's somebody named Awoken right in front of Darky speaking of the devil. Darky with no hesitation. He's taking all the shortcuts, using any kind of speed measures. He has double stars, which can actually work well in his favor. He's definitely going to hold on to that one, that's for sure. But it's just a matter of when he's going to use it. They're both kind of sitting in near dead last. So they got to be careful about what kind of strategy and how they want to play this. Darky is forced to use his star, but is now gifted with the boost shroom. 
Oh, like he's in the, like he's trying to. Uh, he's there, but they both have the boost room, and both it's being used. Darkie with another star as oh. he's all the way back, but he's able to dodge the lightning bolt with the star, which is really good for him. Let's see how far it's going to work out. They'll run the final lap already. That's 200. Uh, wait, that's a uh, hundred. Well, that's uh, that short. Uh, this map is so short. <laughs> this map is so short, and we got pros going so quick. Yeah, it's going to be the tough. They're both in a good position right now after being near ninth and 10th for majority of the race. Darky pulls ahead. It might be him. Darky may run away with it. And it looks like he will. Darky is able to win the final race. And with the glorious math that's about to take place, we'll find out if indeed Darky got every single thing that he needed to to secure a win. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Lucky, though, we'll have to see where he placed. Was his point system enough to secure him a good spot? We'll have to find out who overtook who. But with the two DCs, it's hard to tell where we stand, but we'll figure it out, right? Yeah. We will absolutely figure it out. All right, now we just, uh, we just have to wait. We just have to wait and see yeah. exactly what happens. I believe we're doing some math right now. Actually, I hope you're still with us on stream. Yep, we're definitely still live. Oh boy, this might take a while. Get multiple screenshots. Violet says Darky is my goat. Yes, Darky is indeed a goat, at least of this game. Math time! Yeah, there we go. There it is in the chat. Math time. Math time. Well. Whether, what, whether or not what happens, that was very much a hectic tournament. Fun to watch, though. Oh, yeah, so it's much fun, chaos. Fun to watch all the chaos unfold, all the strategies of banking items, and just, and then, you know, at the very last second, pulling it out of the hat just to secure some good wins. That's a pro strategy. I mean, it really is a pro strategy to just do that. It's not something that a lot of casual players would do, because casual players are just like, all right. I need to win this. I need to be in front all the time. But I guess it's uh, something you have to, uh, like, you know, you have to learn that. Oh, we're inside. Uh, oh, hey, there we are. Oh. <laughs> okay, so before we continue, look at this, please. <laughs> what is this thing? Can, so, can somebody please explain to me what it feels like I'm driving a steering wheel right now? <laughs> Rick, I mean. <laughs> I mean, I said, why not? What? Why not? I guess could come in this tournament. I guess popped on please, this thing. Please tell me you got that for free. Oh no. No. Oh my! You don't believe how expensive these things are. Oh, oh my god. And guess you know, it did not help me whatsoever. It, 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 it no, just made things no. more difficult. This is just. It gets made I mean, difficult. I mean, yeah, it's your standard GameCube, and then it's got a full keyboard, for like, DOS. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you got there, but. I hope it helped you, uh, yeah. Duke, for the most part. But I mean, uh, this was built for the GameCube in the GameCube era. And clearly, yeah, but not for here. <laughs> I don't know anybody in their right mind that would use that, but he did. Hey, um, I mean, so hopefully we got the math that's being uh, done right now um, to find out who exactly won. Yeah, show that off. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully that'll be it. Uh... We'll have to find out really in a second. I believe Darky is the one who won. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's him who won. Oh, asking what the hell is this? I mean. What, what is that? I don't know. Let, let the camera talk. Can we, can we get it closer? Closer, can we, can we yeah. get it? There we go. Half of the writing on it is in Chinese, I think. No, it's Japanese. Japanese. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I know I know a game this went for, if you're curious. It was for the Fancy Star on the GameCube back in the day, if that's what you, if you want to okay. know. Okay. But. Besides that, I mean, it's just an oversized oh, look at that. controller. They're taking a group photo behind us. Oh, man. For all the guys who played good. How many get in photo? We'll be right back, stream. <laughs> 